Hey YouTube, this is ASASAGGH and I haven't posted a video in a while that I should make one. Um, I decided I should probably do a how-to video. As you can see, I have an extremely dirty tank. I'm going to try to salvage it. That's my dog Troy right there. But I'm going to try to salvage it. As you can see, um, this was my sister's old Sokata tortoise's tank when it was a little baby tortoise. As you can see, I haven't, it hasn't been cleaned or used in about four to five years. It's been on the side of my house. Um, all that stuff on the inside is alfalfa and then all that is, cr is crab. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to try to salvage some things. I'm going to try to salvage that lamp and maybe that hide. I can use that hide for maybe another uh, reptile or animal if I get one soon. Everything else is probably going to get thrown away. That food, little, all that other trash. But let's see. I'm going to drag it out into the middle of my yard. Um, this is probably going uh, to be a two day process. First day is probably just going to be me filling up the tank full of water, spraying it down, cleaning up the stuff, then I'm going to let that water sit inside of it overnight, let it soak up stuff, and then the next day I will, tomorrow I'll obviously show you guys the rest of it, cleaning it, cleaning the glass, and trying, I'm going to try to make this thing brand new, and try to salvage it and see if, what we can come up with, so let's get this started. So I got most of the stuff out, the hide, lamp, bowl. Next is to you just get a broom and you kind of scrub off that alfalfa before I clean all the rest off. You see, I try to use a broom as like a um, sponge, I guess you can say, a scrubber. Just to try to get as much stuff as I can get off. I'm going to continue to do this until I can get most of it off. Hey guys, so it's the next day. Uh, last night it got pretty dark out pretty fast, so I couldn't film any longer. All I did uh, after I turned off the camera was just get a dustpan and the broom and I take out all the old dirt and alfalfa pellets that were in there for the turtle. Um, I got this little nozzle on here. It's just like a little steam nozzle. You can find these on Walmart or Home Depot. And just put, attach it on. I prefer these just because it acts like a like a water pressure, like a high water pressure nozzle. So, all I did was spray them on the sides. The reason why I like this too is because this gets all the dirt off before I have to get the sponge out. Next step to cleaning this and trying to salvage the tank is to get the sponge and just scrub it down. I recommend to have a uh, to have a specific sponge you use all the time to clean out your tanks. As you can see, I have two icons on this that says "rep" on it. As for my parents and anyone in my family knows, not to use a sponge to clean dishes or anything else. This is dedicated just to tanks only. So I'm just gonna dip this into the water. I'm gonna have the hose on right there just to wash down the tank while I'm cleaning it. So I'm just going to get this wet and start scrubbing. Okay guys, so this is what I came up with. Uh, I spent about 15 minutes scrubbing it. Um, I did a regular scrub, nothing special. As you can see, I got most of it. Tank's looking pretty clean. I'm going to do an up close view right now, which is just by, from afar because I don't want to step in all that mud. But I just need to let it dry. Um, after, it's not going to be crystal clear. There's still going to be water stains from previous rain when it was raining on it and just from it not being dry correctly so that's where my uh, homemade reptile cleaner comes in from a previous video just use I usually do 75% vinegar and 25% uh, water to any consistency um, so yeah so that's what I'm gonna use so I'm gonna start this after drying it with a towel there's still some white film on the ends of the tank um, I'm going to try to take this off with the homemade reptile cleaner I made. Um, there's going to be a link down below if you want to link yourself to the video of how to make the cleaner. I usually just do 70% uh, vinegar to 25% water 
Uh, the reason why I do it that way is because I don't like to use all vinegar. It's just too powerful and the smell is really bad if you use it inside.